You know, some of you may not remember it because I don't know if I've ever a actually talked about it on this channel. But back in college, I used to be a producer for a sponsored show at my radio station that I was working at during, the time pe during that time period. And it was a veterinary-related show. And a topic that would frequently occur would be the topic of work-life balance. And every time I would listen to these conversations and how like veterinarians need work-life balance because they deal with a lot of stuff throughout the course of the day, such as putting down animals and having to euthanize them, which is very, uh, which I'm sure is traumatic for a lot of people that, you know, grow at, or a lot of workers that grow attached to these animals through frequent visits and such, and they do everything they can, but there's that sense of, you know, you just couldn't save that one, you know, so I can understand where stuff like that comes from and trying to find those distractions come from. Unfortunately, I mean, well, I wouldn't say unfortunately, but like, I never really thought of myself having those issues for the most part, at least not at that time where I needed like to think about work-life balance and how to schedule my day so that I can do work and also do the things I enjoy on a day-to-day -day basis. And I think I'm now starting to see where that, uh, I'm, st I'm now starting to understand those conversations during that course of that show a little bit more. And that's just because I have had, of course, I don't know if some of you know, I've gotten my, myself a new job in recent months and, you know, with COVID and everything, I went from having all the time in the world, basically being a complacent little bastard, you know, taking my government money and doing all this stuff until at some point in time, it's like, okay, I've got this, uh, you know, I really, really, really want to go out and do something because at some point in time, I'm going to have to anyway. Because it gives me a sense of fulfillment where I'm not like just sitting here earning a fucking government paycheck because my ass is too lazy, you know. After a while, after a while you think about it and it's like, God, do I really want to be that beta? And just sit there on my couch eating Doritos and playing video games all day. Not saying I was eating the Doritos, but I definitely was playing a lot of video games. But I was also being productive in the sense where, you know, I was starting the 69 Whiskey Podcast with Eric. You know, we were doing a whole bunch of stuff with that towards the latter half of the summer. We were doing a lot of, um, or I, I was doing a lot of stuff regarding YouTube. Because I felt like it was my kind of, I don't want to say I felt like I had a bit of a responsibility for people to come by my... When people would happen to come by my channel, that I would entertain them. Be, or talk about things that maybe they might enjoy. Or talk about things that I enjoy that I, I would just hope would grow to the, a greater audience. You know, I, again, I, if I felt like it was some sort of, you know, obligation. For lack of better terms. And... Now that I have a job that requires me to work about seven, nearly eight hours every day, you know, some people work eight-hour days, some people work more. I happen to work an average of about seven and a half hours a day. And, you know, I, I enjoy my job and I enjoy making that paycheck because I do earn a pretty decent paycheck out of it. And But the thing is, I don't really have a good grip on the work-life balance aspect of things. And it makes me kind of sad because, for a couple of reasons, because I used to, I, I had all this time to, and I really dis, I really enjoyed making content and working on the podcast and then I got a job and then that consumed nearly eight hours of my day from traveling to actually doing the work itself to going home, showering, eating and, and things I really enjoyed like making YouTube videos and playing video games with my buddies had to get tossed to the wayside. I can tell you right now outside of maybe turning on my PlayStations to make content from them and and see what gameplays I have. I probably game about an average of maybe less than 5 hours a week. That's a straight shoot. I have no time to do anything anymore. And it kind of makes me sad. Not saying I enjoy being the, you know, the the uh, complacent little beta bitch I was. 
Not saying I ever really was beta to begin with, but I certainly felt that way. I, you know, I, I just miss having to go online, hanging out with my buddies, and, you know, every time buddies like a, a buddy of mine, JD from NY, some of you know, you know, I play games with him from time to time. He, he comes on stream and he plays Destiny, and then I'm like, oh, I wish I can go and hang out with the guys because I haven't talked with them in a while. Or my buddy Hollow comes on and, you know, sends me gaming stuff that he does, whether it's Destiny or other things, or he posts his hundredth and uh, ten thousandth uh, platinum trophy on Instagram because he's because he doesn't go outside. That's a joke. But, um, and it's like, fuck, I miss doing that. You know, like, here's the thing. I have all these games that I have that I haven't even fucking touched, really. Like, Ghost of Tsushima, I bought that shit way back in, like, last year in, like, early spring. And I barely touched it. I really have started to, t to play it a little bit more just to try and complete the story as much as possible. But I haven't touched it. Um, Spider-Man Miles Morales and Spider-Man PlayStation 4 or PlayStation 5 Remastered that I got with my, um, that I got with my PlayStation 5 as a bundle, I haven't touched at all. Like, I, the only games I have played is Destiny and, like, WB, uh, not WB, uh, NBA 2K. Stuff like that. And I really, like, it, it, it's depressing, in a way, for me anyway. Like, a, a lot of people say I'm complaining about working. It's really not the case. Again, I enjoy working because I enjoy making a paycheck and working hard for my money. My, the problem I have with it is I can't find that balance between work and doing things in my social life. Because here's, here's the thing. Because I also still work on the podcast. So that requires me to, a couple of hours out of my day from work. And then when I go home from work the next day... I now have to go edit the podcast, you know, so that takes up several hours of my time because, well, me being trained in audio, uh, audio editing, I, I never, the second I hear something I don't like, I got to take it out or, you know, so that's, that takes an excruciatingly amount of time. And just by the time I'm done, I don't even want to fucking play any games. I just want to go and watch TV that has been sitting on my DVR for the better part of three or four days because I haven't gotten a chance to watch it. Which then also cuts into any gaming time I wanted to have to begin with. And then, of course, family time. You know, family events uh, do uh, play into that as well. And I'm not complaining about that because, of course, family events are just as equally, in, or if not more so, important than anything. I don't know. It just I just can't seem to find that balance that I want to have. And again, I really want to have that balance where it's just like I could go and do all these things but I can also, where I can also go work, but then also do all these things. I just feel like I don't have the time to do anything anymore. I don't know, like, I really wish, is there like any videos out there or any sort of um, pe people that give advice on this sort of subject? Because I feel as though I'm like having a hard time with it. Like, I'm actually, I, I know it so sounds co sort of, I sound like a bitch to say this. I I'm like borderline depressed, you know? And I, I have bad days every now and again, just like everybody, but it's like, I'm actually borderline depressed about this. Like, I feel as though I'm not getting the fulfillment out of things I used to enjoy that I used to have because I can't do them because work and other things are taking up all of my time. Granted, other aspects like the podcast, you know, that takes a, that takes a lot of work and I'm trying to, we're actively tr trying to create a business out of it. It's, it's tough, you know, because that takes up a lot of my time and that we're trying to earn money from. So that's going to hopefully going to be a second source of income over time that could hopefully earn me a comfortable living. It's just a lot, man. It's a lot of stress, a lot of overthinking, a lot of what can I do better or what am I not doing well that I need to do better but I can't find the answer to. Like all of this plays into the fact that my work-life balance and the root of all of this, that my work-life balance is not that great. And of course, by the time I get home, I'm just so mentally drained from work that I find it hard to even get any enjoyment out of it, things I, I like doing. Like, um, uh, not the podcast, but like even gaming, watching TV. Like, I don't even want to talk to anybody when I come home. When I come home, it's just like, let me just eat dinner and fuck off for a few hours and just let me relax a little bit, only to do it all the next day. It's like a, a vicious repeating cycle, and I, 
I, I never want to be in that position, but I feel like now that I'm in that position, I don't know what to do, and I need like some coaching on how to do it. So if there's any people out there that can send me a video through my social medias, it could be useful, man. I don't know. Like I'm not saying like I'm going to fucking kill myself or anything, but I'm definitely not in a very happy mental space either, if you know what I mean by that. So hope you guys sort of enjoyed this video i know it's kind of a depressing topic for lack of better terms but who knows it just i need some advice and i would appreciate if someone on the internet could help me out with that of course like i said follow me and all the social media links down in the description of course check out the 69 whiskey podcast as well have a great day and peace out everybody